What's going on, y'all? You know, we here to give us our picks. Damn. It's already week three, y'all. Oh, my gosh. This thing's going by quick, fast, and hurry. But all right, y'all. So, the first game on the menu is Texans and Bears, right? I got the Bears in this one. Um, Bears, um, I believe they play good enough defense to get to pull this one through. Will it be tight? I think so. Um, they have the Bears by three. I like it. Um, I believe Mooney and them gets on track and uh, seals the deal. Now, the over and under is 39. Um, 23-17. I'd say maybe a point over. 23-17. Well, no, no. Well, yeah, for the over, of course. <laughs> yeah, I say, I say go over, y'all. Not too sure about that under. I just say go over. Let's look at the conditions first. Hold up. Let me look at the weather. weather yeah 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 go ahead it's 63 degrees out there go ahead do your thing raiders and the titans i got the raiders on this one um especially when titans just lost Lou, uh, taylor luan hunter renfro out denzel paraman out but they'll be all right uh but damn bud dupree out taylor luan and harold landry out and cut oh lord yeah go ahead i say raiders is a for show a lot but, you know, Raiders in Tennessee be, be, do be playing them little tight little games, though. But Raiders will pull this one out. Raiders is due for a win. They'll get it together. Titans, um, they struggling. They're going to struggle um, this year. This ain't the year for the Titans. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. Tough year for the Titans. Uh, as far as the way they built that team. Well, they had like kind of like in a rebuild year. But... It'll be smoother if they didn't have that bum Ryan Tannehill. But since they got the bum, Struggleville. <laughs> Over under 40, 45 and a half. Mm. For some reason, though, know, when I look at that two point, um, I think Raiders will pull it out at the end, y'all. Um, The score, 23-20, go under, y'all. Go under. It's in Tennessee. And one thing's for show, um, one thing one thing's for show of my years of watching football, when the when the uh when the Raiders gotta travel across the states and it's an early game, um, it's a little bit of a of a mess. So that's why that spread is like it is, but I believe that they'll pull it out. And I also believe it'll be the under, you know. But if you think Tennessee will get it, I mean, it's not far off because for some reason the Raiders always struggle when they go across town, when they go on that, you know, down south, that east coast, whatever the case may be. Yeah, they struggle. Um, Chiefs and the Colts. Um, <laughs> uh, is Pittman playing? That's the real question. Um, so they got the Chiefs by 5.5. I would take the Colts on that. I believe the in the Colts is at home. Like I said, man, I don't believe in the Chiefs. I don't care what has occurred. I just don't believe in them, y'all. They need to make me a believer, and I highly doubt that they'll make me a believer, y'all. So, therefore, I would take the Colts. Now, whether they win, now, whether the Colts, well, I'm, I'm talking about as far as spread-wise, of course, but now, as far as if the Colts win, I believe that they, they can win. I believe that they'll be able to run the ball to a certain extent. Um, not too sure if Michael Pittman is playing, y'all, but um, let me see. Mm, Leonard is out, it's, they say. That's big, but... Chiefs, is they still going to run the ball? Nah. Go ahead, go coach, y'all, because that coach defense, I told y'all, man, when that coach, when the coach bring it together, 
it's gonna look nice. Um, who I got the win though? Man, man, give me coach, y'all. Come on, come on. I still believe in them. Give me the coats. Uh, the over and under is 50.5. <laughs> uh, let me see. I had to say like a 27-20 game. 27-23 game. Something, something around in that realm. 27-23. It can go even if you did want to say the Chiefs. One thing I don't think that I don't think this game gonna be a 30 piece on either one of their ends. So, you know, you could say 27-23, 27-24. Um, that, that game, that over and under game, definitely is going to be pushy. Um, do I want to give you the over or under, though? That's the cold thing about it. Since it's at the Colts and the Colts need to get a win, give me the under, y'all. Give me the under. Under close though by a point though, it all depends if this uh if that spread goes up or down in the morning. We'll tell you everything that you need to know as far as with the over and under. If that game gonna be um uh, if they keep rising it, definitely take that under. If it goes up, if it goes some more under, then I I say go over y'all. Um, Bills and the Dolphins, huh? <laughs> I believe that's gonna be a ooh Ed Oliver out. Uh, that game is going to be the over. Over 53, I'm taking it over. Uh, it's in Miami. Um, who I got to win? Ooh. Is it raining? Ooh, it's raining with 86. That's that weird. See, that's that weird. That's that weird weather down there, man. <laughs> and trust me, I know about it. So who can run the ball, though, is the question. Josh what Josh Josh Allen is a cold weather rainy quarterback. So that's his advantage. Um the rain will put Joe Speedsters at a disadvantage. Um I, I believe the Dolphins, I believe they got an open. I believe they outside, right? Um so I got my I got the Buffalo on this one just because of the rain is going to put their speedsters at a little bit of a disadvantage. Hopefully it doesn't rain, you know, but if it you know, so I'll go ahead and go Buffalo, but Miami covers that, the spread, and it's over. Um, Lions and the Vikings, that's going to be a good game. Um, who I got to win? Ooh, Harrison Smith, though. This is a tough one, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. Um... This is tough. Division game. I probably got the over for this one too. 52.5. I got the over. They got Minnesota by six. I got Minnesota to win, y'all. I'll take uh do I take them by six though? Yeah, I'll take them by six, y'all. I'll take yeah, I'll take Minnesota by six. Ravens and the Patriots. <laughs> This is an interesting one. No, Ronnie De uh, Dobbins is back. Ooh, they got the Baltimore. And it's in Foxborough, too. Ooh, and after, they, after Baltimore done did, done did what they did, though, but ooh. Ooh, that game is ugly. Um. I know Lamar struggling with an injury. So just off of that, I believe it's on his throwing hand too. So if that's the case, man, give me give me Bill Belichick against Lamar Jackson, y'all. Give me that plus 2.5, y'all. Is it the over or under? Under, 23-17. Or you can say 2017. But New England covers. Uh, Bengals and the Jets. Bengals, Bengals. I got the Bengals. They bounce back. They cover the spread. It's six. They cover that. Um, the over and under. Uh, 
under under 27 14 or you can say 28 14 under Bengals bounce back they need to win bad Eagles commanders mm. don't count don't count out uh Washington in this game though y'all don't do that you know it's division game gonna be kind of ugly I think Innocent Washington, Carson Wentz back. Man. Man. What do I have to t Man. Look, Washington, y'all, take them plus 6.5. Do they win? <sighs> That's tough, man. I'll say probably not. Um, over and under. Damn, Washington defense are already kind of banged up. Or, ooh, that's a tough one, y'all. Go over since they banged up. Saints and the Panthers. Ooh, I got Carolina, y'all. I got Carolina plus 2.5. I don't got the Saints on this one, y'all. Especially with Jameis Winston fighting through what he fighting through. And Carolina, they play some good defense. Uh, just, is you going to get enough with Baker Mayfield? And I believe so. Even though Marshawn is playing. Is it the over-under, though? Over. Over 41. Jaguars, Chargers. Okay, so what's the deal with Herbert, though? Um, let me assume that Herbert is not playing, even though I think that he'll try to give it a go, unless that shot just doesn't do the trick. Um, give me Chargers minus three. Um, over under. Um, under, because they're gonna have to run the ball regardless anyway. Defense gonna have to step this one up. Give me under on that one. Rams and the Cardinals. <laughs> huh. Division. It's time. Oh. This is going to be an interesting one. I ain't even going to lie. I'm intrigued by this game. But um, who do I got, though? Huh. Hmm. That's tough, y'all. This is very tough, y'all. This is probably the toughest one I think it was in my brain. Um, do Arizona build off that? Give me Rams, y'all. Do they cover, though? That 3.5, that 3.5 is so shaky to me, y'all. I'm going to say that they cover, though. Is it the over or under, though? Give me over since it's in Arizona. Um, Falcons, Seahawks. <laughs> Give me the Falcons in this one, y'all. I don't like the Seahawks. Um, they got the Falcons plus one. So pretty much winner take all type of thing. Give me Falcons. Uh, Give me under two, under 42. Packing the Bucks, Cole Beasley in, Perriman in, the tight ends and running backs. Okay, so whose defense is going to show up is the question. Akeem Hicks is out, right? But as far as the banged up, Sammy Watkins is hurt, and the unknown wide receivers that uh, Green Bay got, it, Rand Randall, Randall Cobb is as old as Moses. Um, I still want to tell you Tampa. I still want to tell you Tampa. It's in Tampa. He up for Brady. Brady, uh, uh, they're going to duel it out, though. Don't trust me. Rodgers is going to play some magic. Give me Brady, though, because it's not in Lambeau Field. Give me Brady. Give me Brady. Straight. I mean, it's one anyway, so give me Brady by the one. 
Is it over and under? Over. Over. They'll, they'll find ways to score. Um, Niners and the Broncos. They got San Francisco by 1.5, and it's in mile high. I got I got Russell Wilson on this one, y'all. Um, he owns San Francisco. Uh, so take that. Go against it. Take the Broncos. Broncos for the win. Take Broncos 1.5. Is it the over and under? See, Judy is out, so they're going to have to run. Oh, I don't want to say he's out, but he's banged up. So they definitely, both teams will have to run the ball a lot. So with that being the case, under and mile high. And the Broncos established the run game. Um, Cowboys, Giants. This is, good. Yeah, this is interesting. My boy Michael Parsons, I heard, got the flu. You know? Um <laughs> Uh, that boy talking about he Jordan. I believe so. No Leonard Williams. He's doubtful. No Aaron. Ooh, Aaron Rock. Ooh, ooh. Give me Dallas. Dallas. Dallas in a very close one. Um, give me Dallas plus one. Is it the over or under, though? Could be a 2017 game, y'all. Um, Possible twenty three seventeen, but uh, give me under y'all. Give me under thirty nine. You know, um, got to run the ball still. But Dallas will probably see what it be with Dallas is Dallas will dominate time of possession. They'll probably be putting up some field goals, but they'll be dominating time of possession. And the defense will do just enough. Michael Parsons will do just enough, even though he's hurt. I'm mean, not not hurt, but sick. And get it done. But yeah, man, that was my picks, y'all, for uh, you know, tomorrow. Hope y'all win much money, you know what I'm saying? And if I helped you with any picks, man, shout me out. <laughs> but hey man, y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. We out.